Uh, welcome, Wolf of Warfets. We are back with the brilliant Oddworld Soulstorm on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the last video, we arrived at the mixing room of Soulstorm Brewery, and we have added all of the ingredients that we stole a few videos back into the mixer to create this brand new Soulstorm brew that will no longer kill the Muduckans within 48 hours if they drink it. So what we're doing at the moment is we are traveling around all of the different brewing chambers, rescuing any Muduckans that need to be rescued, and we are mixing up all of the ingredients and all of the Soulstorm brew in preparation to distribute it across all of the factories across Mudos. So that's what we're doing at the moment. Now we are probably about, I'd say maybe, a third of the way through this mission, maybe halfway through. So if you want to see the previous uh, half of this level, just watch the previous video. But before we get into this, I just want to quickly show you all something. I've promised to show you all throughout the whole of this playthrough, but I kept forgetting. But have a look at this. If you're a fan of Odd World Inhabitants, I definitely recommend getting this art book. I think it was relatively expensive for me, but I think that was purely because this came from Australia, so I had to pay quite a big amount for like shipping charges, but the book itself is filled with all of the stuff involving Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, Oddworld Abe's Exodus, Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, and Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. So if you are a fan of those Oddworld games, I definitely recommend getting this book because it is absolutely amazing. But yeah, let's get straight into the playthrough. Nah. We've currently rescued 25 Muduckans. There is 25 left for me to rescue. And I think in terms of um, inventory, we're doing pretty well. I mean, I did finish this level off camera without looting any of the vending machines because I was trying to get the uh, trophy. So uh, just, by, just because of the fact that I'm looting all of the uh, vending machines at the moment will make this mission a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> but if you do want to get through this level without um, touching any of the vending machines, it's very, very easy to do. You won't have much trouble, but just be aware that you will more than likely have to leave a few Muduckans behind because there is two Glucken gates and both of those require a 100 uh, Moolah to open. So if you're not clicking on any of the vending machines, then you won't be able to sell any of the glass bottles that you pick up, like recycle them. So you most likely won't have enough moolah to be able to open up the two different glucken gates and rescue the Muduckan. So just a word of warning in case you're planning on rescuing every single Muduckan in the game. And another thing I should mention as well, if you want to get a trophy for being a good guy pretty much, or a bad guy, you have to finish the uh, game by having... 1,000 Muduckans rescued. If you get to the uh, end of the game and you've been rescuing as many Muduckans as possible, but you have uh, only saved like 999, you won't get the trophy. And the same thing with the bad ending. If you want to get the bad ending and get the trophy for it, you have to have killed 1,000 Muduckans throughout the playthrough. And that means actually killing the Muduckans. You can't just leave them behind, you have to actually kill them. So that's another tip for you as well, because I accidentally completed the game and I just left all of the Muduckans behind. I didn't really kill them unless I could easily. So because of that, I didn't get the bloody trophy. So I wasted a good few I was finishing the game again for no reason whatsoever so I thought I'd better mention that but um, I think down here might be where one of the um... oh crap how are we going to get in there oh thank thank the heavens I can make just one <laughs> thank the bloody heavens but I think uh, down here might be the area where um, the first glucken gate is and I think there's like five muduckens maybe it's even that, it's either that or a hidden jelly. Or maybe it's everything actually. Oh damn, I think it's this bloody everything. But yeah, as you can see, we've got more than enough moolah. But the only reason why I've got this much moolah is because I've been selling the glass bottles on the vending machine. If you're not using the vending machines because you're trying to get that trophy, you could probably open maybe one glucken gate, but I found it a bit more difficult to open the second one. And I think I also had the... Uh, I think I also had all of the keys as well when I did this level, so uh, I don't think it was because I missed any lockers. That was a bit of a weird delay. It's like they had second thoughts about going home. <laughs> like they decided they want to stay in the mixing room. But yeah, I won't spoil the bad ending, but uh, the bad ending of this game 
to be honest, I felt like it was. I mean, it weren't it weren't like a good ending because of everything that happens in it. But I kind of felt like it was partly a good ending as well. <laughs> it didn't feel like a completely bad ending. But I'm not going to spoil it for anybody that wants to like play the game themselves and experience that ending. But yeah, obviously the good ending is a hell of a lot better, and you actually get quite a few. Uh, Quite a few good details actually. I really like the ending of this game, but I'm not going to spoil it because you're going to see it within the next like 30 minutes. But I tell you, <laughs> the eye security log 3247. The eye keeps insisting on direct eye contact. I think it wants to make friends, despite the point of its role here. The new circuit breaker should keep it nice. The new circuit breaker should keep it nice and hostile. Yeah. So this eyeball. Uh, whenever it sees you, it shoots a laser at you and it will immediately kill you. I think I remember the section that we need to do now. Yeah, this section right here I had such trouble with because I um, I, uh, I didn't realise that this eyeball, it can actually, because you need to chant and you need to use that uh, that little, you see that blue triangle there, as you saw in the last video, you need to chant on those. But because of these um, chant suppressors, you can't do it, so you can't bring that elevator over. Well, um... What you need to do is you need to kill all of these slicks if possible. You need to make your way around and you need to get that laser to shoot all of the chanting uh, suppressors so that you can finally chant and then bring the elevator, elevator over and then continue on with the level. But I did not know that you could destroy those chant suppressors with that eyeball. So I, was, I spent a ridiculous amount of time in this section. But I think, it, I think it might even tell you somewhere. Maybe. I think it even tells you it's like a... Oh shit, it locked me in. But don't use any of your shite core ability, because that's a bad idea. Oh crap, I was a bit too slow. <laughs> Sorry if you heard my dog bark then. <laughs> I think it was Returnal arriving through the letterbox. Because Returnal releases today at the time of recording. <laughs> Bloody dog barking over nothing. What a twat. Oh man, these fires that keep appearing everywhere are causing me a lot of aggro. For some reason, Abe decided to not get his bloody balls out then. <laughs> his balls. <laughs> Lovely. You don't want to get hit by that laser because I'm pretty sure it's a one-shot kill. Ah, oh, what'd you miss for, Abe? Fuck's sake. Right, right here, buddy. I'm wasting a lot of my uh, rubber band balls. I think it's because I'm running around and they can hear me.
This is what by far one of the worst bits in this level though. This bit and then also the next bit. Well, the, the, the final bit of this uh, level, I guess. <laughs> There we go. What an idiot. Oh, great. Sorry if this is annoying to watch. It's just it's very awkward on this bit because you have to keep on and on and on moving. Man, flipping. Right, there's one more slip to deal with. Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Okay. Right, uh, I don't have any more of my bouncy thingies left. So I'm going to have to. Uh... How did that miss him? Give it a rest. What could I even use? I don't think... What have I got? No, oh, I can make a... It's got to be a Brunei, ain't it? <laughs> I just want him to follow me over here. I don't know why he's obsessed with going near that fire. Come over here, Sliggy. There we go. Broken the two at the bottom. Is there another one that's got to come out? No! Oh! <laughs> Stupid laser! Oh my god, these little fires everywhere are a bloody nightmare, isn't they? Sorry this bit's taking so long. You just gotta be so flipping careful. Fuck. Oh, now he wants to shoot over there. Yeah, yeah, now you wanna shoot over there. Yeah, of course you do. Oh, here we go. I just need him to come near the edge because it's very easy to hit him then. <whistles> Alright, so now we just gotta do some monkey barring and then uh trying to not get myself killed now. So we'll wait here. You want to jump probably when it's on the second. The second line. If you jump too soon, he cancels his shot. Like that. Thank God these monkey bars have been improved. Okay. Yeah, it, it even tells you at the top that you need to destroy the suppressors. But obviously I just didn't read. Right, you want to get him to shoot at you from somewhere before you start charming. Otherwise he might shoot you mid, mid uh, chant and then you end up dead. Yeah, sorry that took so long. Bloody hell, that was terrible gameplay. I do apologise. I do apologise. Might have to cut some of those out. Well, it was only two deaths, but it was a lot of fapping around. Might have to cut some of it out. Oh, hell yeah, mate. 
If only we could take control of that and just blast all the Gluckens away. I feel like we should have rescued more Mudakans. I know there's another five somewhere where you need to uh, open up a Glucken gate with Moolah. So that means, and there's, I think there's uh, three in the final room, possibly. So yeah. Oh, is there anything over here? No. Okay. <laughs> Flipping annoying that eye, ain't it? Just reminds me so much of the Incredibles. Ah, there might be, uh, yeah, there might be some Mudukans around here. Yeah, you want to break this, and I think there's some Mudukans up here, possibly. Not a thousand percent sure, because sometimes it might just be jelly. Also, a lot of the royal jelly you find during that bit we just did with the eye, because it's probably at like six or so royal jellies just in that section. This is a nice camera angle. I can't see shit. Oh yeah, I remember this bit. This next bit was a pain in the butt because I didn't use any vending machines the first time I did it. So it meant that I um, I couldn't uh, kill some of the bloody slicks in the area. So I was having a very horrible time. Now, we are getting a lot of goodies at the moment. We're going to need these, because I think there is a few more battles we need to do. But in the final in the final area, we just need to use our Shire Claw ability. That's why you want to save them every time you learn them. Because we could have probably have used it during that section we was just doing. But um, you don't want to. It's a terrible idea. I don't know if we need any batteries, but I'll just grab a few anyway. Not much point me really coming up here. Well, actually, no. We've got another ten tapes now. Okay. Take your time, Abe. I've got all the time in the world, didn't I, buddy? Oh, shit. Oh, bloody hell, there's a lot down there. Sweet. It's good to have a few of these bad boys. Very nice. Still can't make a flamethrower. I don't think you can in this. Oh, look. Oh, no. There we go. Just what we needed. You've got to love the bants in binding candy. There's not a better item in this game. There's not a better item. Even if you uh, want to kill the snakes, there's not a better item. Okay, what's this say? Warning, machinery is very sticky. Please avoid using anything fizzy or anything that makes pow noise. And, oh, what? that's a very big hint, ain't it? Yeah, this, this, you want to, um, because you need to kill those slicks, because every time you pull the lever, they're going to do this. Am I getting punked? <laughs> Am I getting punked? Yeah, this was another bit that was rough, like I said, because I wasn't looping any of the... Uh, because I wasn't looting any of the um, vending machines, so I ran out of a lot of supplies. I couldn't do any of this. It was a it was a bloody nightmare. It was horrendous. such stupid stupid questions why are we stopping why do you think we're stopping that's bullshit <laughs> uh oh that might have been a bit too soon yeah that was very too soon Up. Oh, there we go. 
right, I need to make a few more of these. Jesus. Oh, stupid. of like Muldukans dying then. I think I've got such a flippy phobia of Muldukans dying now, I'm hearing shit. I thought I heard that, you know that like really creepy noise in plays if you kill the Muldukans. I thought that just played then. Alright, come on boys. Okay, so we've got one more pump to do. And then it's the, uh, I, I think it's the final bit. I was worried that the barrier was going to come up behind me then and like crush one of my Muldukans. That would have pissed me off. <laughs> that would have caused a lot of anger. That's the final Glucken Gate, and then we've got this other section over here where we need to uh, where we need to mind control a slig, a flying slig, and you've got to do like this little puzzly bit. Yep, there we go. Oh, we found all of the hidden jellies as well. Very nice. I'm just gonna get these boys to help me loot these lockers because it's quicker. <laughs> there you go. That's the least you can all do, considering I'm saving you all. Yeah, because th this is the five I didn't rescue off camera because um, I didn't, uh, I didn't have enough moolah because I was trying to do it without clicking the vending machines, and I still didn't get the bloody trophy because I think if you click these, it stops the trophy from working, or maybe it was bugged because a few of the trophies were bugged because I know recently. Uh, in patch 1.8, well not recently, within the last like probably week or so, by the time you see this video, um, they released 1.8 and it fixed a few of the trophies. Careful you don't kill Mudokins. Hi! What did you shoot me for? That's a bit rude. There's three stages to this bit, and you do open like. Um, you do open uh, little shortcuts and stuff. God, mate. There you go, that counts as a shortcut. <laughs> Which is very nice of Oddworld, considering Oddworld are... Oops. <laughs> Oddworld are pretty mean when it comes to uh, some of the bits they want you to do in this game. But uh, they've been a bit more friendly on this bit. What the hell am I supposed to do there? up quickly. <gasps> oh, oh, sweet mama. <laughs> Let's 
Danny Sliggy. That's it. Oh, I didn't want to kill him. There we go, and that's pump number five activated. That's all of them now. Lovely. <laughs> it's very hard to commentate on those little sections like that. Very tense. Very bloody tense. But yeah, if you don't uh, shoot that wooden wooden wall that was blocking those three Rudakans, you've probably got a brunade or something that can do it. Oh man, I thought he was going to headbutt. Okay, yeah, so uh, these... Oh, you want to come over? Oh, okay, we've got to go over here. What's over here then? Oh, nothing. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, the final three Mudukans are going to be in the final room. The room. Oh, look, we can get a flamethrower now. But yeah, the final three Mudukans are going to be in the final room. Because we've, we've mixed everything now. And now I think uh, all we have to do now is we now need to distribute this brand new Soul Storm brew across the whole of whole of Mudos, and then of course it will be put into all of the bottles and the machines. And then uh, when the Muldukans drink it, they will no longer die within 48 hours of not having a brew. So then, if they want to escape from their Gluckan overlords, they can without the risk of dying. Because I don't think the Muldukans actually know what the brew does. I do because I saw that Project Soulstorm cassette tape many videos back. And also the Keeper kind of told me about it a bit as well. But um, yeah, I don't think the Muldukans actually know. But I'm sure once they, once they find out and they start getting inspired by Abe rescuing them all. Once they get inspired by Abe rescuing them all and stuff like that. Then uh, and they decide to start breaking out and that then they won't die. So yeah. Okay, the mixer. Notice, to keep Abe from using our own mixer against us, we have barricaded all the locks with lots of stuff that is only mostly destructible. Don't let him near all three locks. Okay, right. So... Okay, right, so you want to make sure you've got plenty of Soulstorm brew for this bit. I'm going to have to explain this bit before we actually do it. But yeah, the first tip is obviously, every time you unlock one of those, uh, one of these bad boys, because I always say it wrong, these shy crawl, I think that's shy crawl. When you unlock these shy crawl abilities, keep them, because they're very, very useful for this bit right here. You can pretty much skip some of the more difficult bits, but um, you're also going to get three more in this room as well, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is very similar to the end of Abe's Exodus. Bloody hell, you got the Brewmaster up there as well. Okay, so, um, what you're going to do is you're going to save these three and it's going to give you like three extra charges of your Shire Core ability. So there's going to be, what's going to happen is we need to turn off the lot, the, uh, the three eyes. Now every time you turn this wheel, something is going to happen. So you turn the wheel and there's going to be like a bunch of uh, a bunch of slicks that are going to like come blasting in out of nowhere to fight you. When the slicks appear, you want to use your shy core ability to kill them immediately. Now there is also going to be these mines that come up from the sides and you've got to jump over them very quickly. But if you've got some extra shy core abilities, if you just pop one quickly, uh, you don't even have to bother jumping because you're immune when you're in your shy call form. So they just bump into you and you don't even have to worry about jumping. So you save yourself a little bit of aggro. And then uh, that's going to happen two separate times uh, as you turn off the first two eyes. And then on the third time that you turn this wheel, two sleep bloody mummers are going to appear. Now, uh, what you want to do is you want to immediately start throwing Soulstorm Brew underneath them because it's like an open flame and you want to try and get one of them blown up as quick as possible because otherwise you're going to die so fast because they shoot rockets at you and then you can deal with the other one a lot easier but you've got to be first two first two scenarios is just use your shy core ability on the slicks when they appear and use it on the uh, mines if you've got any extra one same in stage two stage three get ready with your Soulstorm Brew I'm most likely going to die a couple of times whilst I get used to this because uh, it's been about two weeks since I've done this mission so we might we might have a few mess ups but fingers crossed we get it done in one and I've also got the wonderful kids outside screaming so I'm sure that'll help okay 
That's the first lot. I'm going to jump over these mines. I don't want to use any of this yet. I think it's slicks, mines, and then slicks, and then it's the reverse on the next bit. Okay, so that should be the first eye, I think. Oh no, slicks first. I think that might be the first eye deactivated now. Activated then. Because you're activating the eyes because this is then going to pump this new Soulstorm brew that we've created across the whole, uh, whole of Mudos. Also, there ain't no save points. So if you die, you have to do all of it again. So you want to be careful. You want to use your Shire Core ability as soon as this goes green because the first set of mines are too quick. And this uh, Shaiko ability isn't useful against the Slig Mummers as well, so don't bother saving it for that. It doesn't do anything. I thought it did, but it don't. Is that it? Alright, now the third one is going to be when the Slig Mummers appear, so you want to make sure you get out your. Um, your soul storm brew. I suppose if you've got an additional shite ability, you can use it to like, I don't know, I suppose you can use it to like, give yourself a little rest, but yeah, as soon as they come up, you just wanna start throwing as many as you can, because they're gonna be on both sides of you. This is the bit where I'm more like, most likely gonna die. So cheeky, ain't it? <laughs> I need to light. Nearly dead. Oh, forgetting the buttons. We did it! <laughs> we did it! We did it! Brilliant! Alright, that, that is basically the end of the game now. Now it's going to be, I think it's the final cutscene. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys and girls. I, I think it is the end now. I think, yeah, I think the cutscene comes up now. So I'll, I'll talk to you guys and girls after you get to, get to watch the greatest cutscene of all time. <laughs> Master, your recipe is a disaster. 
We have lost our factories, and we demand to know how you intend to compensate us. You dare accuse me? It's your brew that has failed us. My recipe is flawless. Do you inbreds not see that my brew is under attack? As were our operations. We barely escaped our own premises alive. And only one day after Moloch's farm disaster. Isn't that curious? And now you're suffering uprising as well. You pathetic pawns. Don't you see we've been betrayed? This is Moloch's doing. His slaves didn't die in the farm. He's using them as an army to take us all down. He's attacking us to cover his own tracks. And right now, he's attacking my throne. Blaming it all on the imaginary Abe guy. Well, we could hardly 
we believe we really did what we really did today? Maybe they can't either. Hmm. So what else did you learn down there with that keeper? So much, but we've got a mother. Did, uh, all critters got mothers. No, I mean, we all have the same mother. All of us from Rupture Farms. Is that even possible? It has to be because that's what happened. But why would she... I don't know why she left us. But I do know where she is. Alive? But we were all told our mothers were dead. They lied to us about everything. And she's not dead. But, she's, she's just... She's what, Abe? She's in... Dolly, ma'am. I don't even know no one who's ever even been to Nolly Bab. A city filled with luck. It just ain't right. We gotta find her. Because we need to know why she left us in that horrible place. And why she gave me these. And there we go. That was Oddworld Soulstorm on the PlayStation 5. And that was a flipping fantastic game. Obviously, yeah, I got a little bit annoyed with uh, a couple of the glitches and that. But other than that, it was amazing. I mean, look how many voices Lorne Lanning did. Look at this. Look, see? Look, look, what an absolute legend. He needs to get himself a flipping villa on a beach and have a damn break, doesn't he? <laughs> and then you've got a bunch of other YouTubers that have done a bit of voice acting. You've got Lewis Brindley of the Yogg so you've got the Rad Brad. I'm sure many of you know many of the people on there. Oh, mate. I love that. I love that. Man, that is such a dick tease, ain't it? Because I told you, I think during this playthrough, I've spoke about Abe having a mother, and I think her mo the mother was named Sam. I think the Gluckers have got a similar sort of thing with someone called Lady Margaret. I don't know if she's like a, a mother or she's like the leader of the Gluckens. Maybe we'll see her in the sequel. But it proper, it's a proper tease, because they're, they're obviously odd world inhabitants, and all the people that worked on this game are going to be having a break at the moment, because I think they normally do after they finish up a game and have a few months rest and that. So uh, by the time we get it's going to be like probably another five years before we see the next one. And it's probably going to be a straight up brand new game. I don't know if it will be a reimagining of Munch's Odyssey. Maybe Munch will be in it. Or if that game's just being like put in the, on the back burner now. That's a different game uh, completely now. I don't know if that's now part of the Quintology or not. But um, we're going to fight. We're probably going to see Abe's mum. Which is something that many of us Odd World fans have known about for a very long time. We're going to go to a Glucken bloody city and see tons of Gluckens walking around. We're going to find out why Abe's mum gave him those stitches. And we're going to have to wait years to fucking find out why. <laughs> I hate shit like that. Man, you always know there's going to be a sequel, but a lot of the time these video games are left where maybe there won't be a sequel, maybe there will be. <laughs> but this is straight up like, oh, like they could continue right on now, like the game could have carried on. And now we've got to wait. Oh man, what a cock tease. But yeah, massive shout out to Oddworld Inhabitants for still being around after this many years and still releasing phenomenal games. And also got this free with PlayStation Plus. I did get a pre-order for the Collector's Edition, so you guys and girls will be seeing another Oddworld Soulstorm related video in July, because I'll definitely do an unboxing. But yeah, thanks for watching Wolfalbets. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I've probably already started it, but I'm going to be doing a Returnal and also highly likely Pokemon Snap on this channel as well. I might have already started one of those games in conjunction with this game, but I guess you'll find out. If not, I'll be starting it tomorrow. But yeah, thanks for watching Waffle Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this playthrough. Like, share, and join the pack today.